those textures, all those flavors. It is amazing. Welcome to El Salvador. Today we are in the capital and we're going to show you the incredible street food scene in this country. We're starting off right off the bat with one of the most decadent snacks they have in all the country. Elote loco. So this is boiled corn. They slather it in mayonnaise, then they sprinkle cheese on top of it. And then they add mustard, ketchup, and salsa inglés, she said, which is like English sauce. I think it's like a sweeter kind of Worcester sauce. But look at this. This is actual madness. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, so much sauce. It's actually really good. It has these very strong flavors combined. It's a little bit rich for first dish of the day. Mind you, there are actual veggies in here. <laughs> it's good though. We're now in the back streets of the historic city center. All right, it's time to have the national dish of El Salvador here. These are called pupusas, these nice little corn pockets filled with cheese and whatever you want. These are with cheese and chicharron, which is this type of pork. Cheers. Oh, these are the best pusas I ever had. They're just so nice and crispy on the outside. In the middle, you've got the gooey, cheesy, porky filling that just comes running out as soon as you bite into it. Ooh. Now, you don't just get the pupusas. There's this, which is a little tomato-y, a little bit chili salsa. I think this is called cortido. It's basically cabbage and a bunch of other veggies, such as carrots, in this really big pot that you just smack onto the table. Mm. Oh my god, that's good! Mm. So we walked past this uh, little shop that has these big tubs of tamales. And if this looks like a really big leaf, well, it is actually a really big leaf. Let's open this baby up because inside are the goodies. Inside the banana leaf we have the tamale, which is a corn-based dough completely wrapped up in this banana leaf and it's steamed for hours. And there's different types of filling. This one is with uh, pork ribs. Okay. First bite is just 100% dough. You have some of the tamale dough here, you can see it's kind of a little bit soggy. I'm not the biggest fan of the texture of tamales, but the flavor is really, really good. It's nice and greasy, kind of melts in your mouth, get pieces of meat in there, especially once you get to the really big meaty chunks. It seems like everything they're selling here is exactly one dollar. It seems they just adjust the quantity so that it's a dollar's worth of whatever they're selling. We've come to this small little park that has playgrounds, entertainment for the kids. And where there are kids, there are also Este coco, menta, fresa, chicle, piña y uva. Fresa, por favor. Fresa. Eh, ¿Qué otro? Piña. This is called a minuta. This is shaved ice with a bunch of toppings. I've got strawberry flavor and piña flavor. I got some candied fruits on top. We then topped it off with condensed milk, which is basically really sweet milk and some honey, so to make it even sweeter. I'm gonna try this. Mmm. Oh, it's really good. It is super sweet though, but with the ice, it's very, very refreshing, especially since it's nice and warm out here. Look at how gooey it is. Mm. You'd think it's healthier than normal ice cream, 
because it's just shaved ice, but I think the toppings. No, oh, this is pure sugar. <laughs> this is pure sugar. They even have a little straw with it if you want to really get to the bottom of it. I kind of like how San Salvador is a little bit rough around the edges and how there are these really beautiful colonial style buildings, but also like these really rugged parts of town that are obviously a lot more local. I like it. I like the vibe. This is going to be an interesting experience. All right, here we have a plato, typical, very typical local food. Grilled beef, grilled chorizo, casamiento, which is uh, rice with beans, some local cheese, a little bit of veggies uh, to go with it, but who's in it for the veggies? Don't make friends with salad. Don't make friends with salad. Yeah, this little plastic little fork is not really... They probably thought that guy looks really dangerous. Let's give him a plastic fork. <laughs> All right, some beef, a bit of rice, have a taste. really nice grill flavor and then the rice mixed with the beans nice little spiciness in there this is really really typical El Salvadorian food no wonder people come here in droves like it's it's pretty much packed here because it's super cheap as well how much was this this was just four dollars including a drink yes, <laughs> Yeah, we've gotten ourselves a little snack. We've come to this beautiful square where there are loads of people partying, dancing, just hanging out, having a good time. Everyone's just sitting around enjoying this beautiful Saturday. I love, love the vibe in San Salvador. In this little bag is the best dessert, in my opinion, in all of Latin America, at least the countries we've been to so far. This is Tres Leches Cake. Tres leches means three milks. It has normal milk, evaporated milk, and condensed milk. The real magic happens here because it's kind of a little bit spongy and moist, and there is like this sauce that just comes with it. Oh my god. This might be one of the best tres leches we've had so far. I just love dipping the spoon in and getting like a spoonful of cake, and then all of the milk, just a little sauce. Wow, where have you been all my life? I also have a very typical El Salvadorian uh, dessert or sweet, Semitas. It's a kind of layered cake which I think it's a pineapple syrup in the middle. And of course, I have some El Salvadorian coffee here. Around the square, there's many vendors walking around with uh, pots of coffee and you can just buy a coffee. Only 25 cents. El Salvador is really famous for coffee. There's actually a bunch of coffee farms you can visit around here, which we haven't done yet. Maybe in the next video we're gonna do that. Mm, it's nice. Very soft and subtle. Mm, it's a bit more spongy than I thought some sugar on top and then in the middle you have this syrupy gooey whatever it is this will always be one of my favorite things to do in just any country just sit back where there's a little bit of chaos and look around a people spot with a drink and a snack i mean there's nothing better i just love this Good morning guys, we spent the night here in our van in this beautiful park here you see behind me. We're gonna continue our food tour, I think it's time for a little brekkie, don't you think? breakfast I'm having this uh, you know typical the typical breakfast of El Salvador of course we have the rice and beans some eggs like scramble a little bit I can also see some bell pepper in there a little bit of onion 
And then, this is why I wanted to come for breakfast, but I can only describe it as a banana boat. It's like a banana baked, caramelized with some sugar, and then inside is this condensed milk and what seems to be some raisins. This is going to give me diabetes, but I don't care, this looks so good. And we also have cafe con leche, coffee with some milk. It's extremely hot. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> that banana is so good. You can have it normal, just fried banana and caramelized but without the condensed milk. Why would you do that? Like, why would you waste all of the stuff that's good? It's quite a heavy breakfast. Like, this is rice and beans and then this fried banana. Omelette's good too, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm not in it for the omelette. And also, do you know a quesadilla? It's usually like this tortilla filled with cheese. Here in El Salvador, it means something entirely different. This is a quesadilla, a saltier version of a cake with some cheese in there. So there's eggs, flour, milk, butter, and some cheese. It's not very sweet, it's not very salty. It's not very remarkable, I would say, but it's such a popular dish that we had to try it. I kind of like this. It's not super special, but I like the flavors. So we drove a bit further up into the mountains and we now should have the old city. You can see the volcanoes surrounding it. Wow. But we didn't just come here for the view. What a view, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this fried yuca with shicha rom. This is the yuca, probably in English speaking countries it's better known as cassave or tapioca. Potato like thingy but different, same same but different. It's fried, fully fried. Comes with some sauce, a little bit of uh, veggies as well. Mm. A little bit like potato, a bit more chewy but uh, more flavored to Slightly it. Slightly sweeter than a potato. And then we have the chicharron, which is pork cracklings, pork rinds. Uh, mostly it's a um, combination of some pork skin and some pork belly. What is it with the plastic forks? Why do yeah. you think you're a toddler? <laughs> they don't trust me. That is a whole lot of flavor. When you bite in it, there's a bit of grease coming out. Also a bit chewy because I think it's been fried for a while. I really like this combo. This is this is good. Alright, now we're gonna drive towards the coast. They have some completely different foods over there and I'm eager to try those. Fortunately, it's a small country, so just a little drive away. We have found ourselves here in paradise. We are in Los Cobanos, a nice little place here on the coast. And I think this is very, very local. I haven't seen any other tourists here. We get nice watermelon juice here. And this restaurant, well actually this whole area specializes in fish and seafood. This is super popular actually. Um, pretty much everywhere on the coast of El Salvador. This is a cocktail, the Camarón, a shrimp cocktail. It has tomato, onion, a bunch of herbs in there, crackers. <laughs> Oh, I like this. It is really refreshing. I think the sauce may need a little bit of ketchup. It's not super complicated, but it is oh so good. Mm. Yes, yes. The other appetizer we have is a garlic bread topped with cheese and shrimp. How good does this look, no? Mm. Very cheesy, very garlicky. Definitely not going to be bothered by vampires tonight. And for the main dish, we have a local specialty. Just around the corner here is the beach where all the fisher boats come in. This is locally called fresh fish and it's fried up just in its entirety, just a whole fish fried up. That's how they eat it here. And I must say it smells and looks delicious. 
Mm. Do you know what I like best about this place? They actually gave me a real fork. Can you believe it? <laughs> if you want to see more food, we'll link another video for you to watch up here. If you want to see more of El Salvador, you can do that here. And we'll see you in the next video where we're going to explore more of the coastline. See you in the next one.